conducted a small experiment that is to run the Scala Collider Super Collider client on the Android platform. Uh, Scala, the language in which it is written, runs on the Java Virtual Machine and there's a very well designed plugin for the simple build tool to package a Scala application into an Android package and, and install it on the machine. So we want, I wanted to see if all this is working fine with all the libraries involved. And in fact it does. So I'm going to demonstrate a little bit how this works. We have installed the program already here. And uh, all it does at the moment is connects to a Super Collider server on the Wi-Fi. Uh, since uh, I haven't yet had time to install the Super Collider port for Android, I will just run Super Collider server on my laptop. This is already set up all here. So all I need to do is boot my... So here we'll just boot on the regular uh, port there it is and I need to know my local address to be able to put that in the Wi-Fi configuration this is the port, is, uh, the IP is 100 in the end, I think I have already done that properly here exactly that's the IP so I press connect here to oops, sorry, press connect here to start the server is connected and uh, all I can do right now is uh, compile a demo synth dev that is the analog bubbles that everyone knows and there they are running on the laptop but uh, being compiled and controlled from the phone Okay, so this is quite straightforward. I'm having an, uh, a small activity here. So all I'm doing basically is I set up a server here. What I need to know is the address. This is all the classes from Scala Collider. Here's the connection uh, mechanism. And once I've done that, I have assigned to the second toggle button this piece of code that creates the analog bubbles sound.